here. We're good. Let's go. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. So if you enjoy that, then uh, click on that subscribe button. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the sixth most popular project on all of games, tabletop games, excuse me. That is Age Mania from the publisher of Eclipse, a fully cooperative board game with challenging dot dot dot. Now, I do like... Uh, so I, I'm not a fan of the fact that I don't know the player count, I don't know the time length, I don't know any really useful information right here and also like i see this but it's so scrolled out i can barely even tell what it is like oh i think there's adventurers and they're going on a thing i'm just saying this could let me know so much more about the game than it actually does but i do like the fact that they already mentioned from the publisher of eclipse they're going for that uh can you do it category right there because as always before we click on this there's three things you need to convince every kickstarter backer do they want it can you do it how much is it so one hundred eighteen thousand dollar funding goal that's a pretty big goal which makes me think this is going to be a rather large game and okay uh from the publisher eclipse a fully cooperative board game Wait, was that mentioned before did i miss that am i am i new uh yeah it says it right there i apologize fully cooperative board game i still would like to know the player count i think that's super important one to four players awesome how long does it take if it's if it's an epic campaign uh i'd like to know the time length. i think that could be something potentially selling point now we zoom in on this a little bit and okay okay so i'm not completely wowed by the image i see some nice artwork i get excited about what's going on but i need to know more about the gameplay here but hopefully we'll get into that let's go the great powers of our world are struggling for dominance battling for control of agamonia mm. a conflict that has spread like wildfire the sting of its poison lay heavy in the hearts of many for the land has known no pain like this ever before. The most unlikely of us have risen. Risen as unsung heroes. Heroes that could sway the balance in our favor. They are the final hope for Agamonia. And their stories oh, are just beginning. That's us. Agamonia is a fully cooperative, narrative-driven adventure game for one to four players, using a quick, engaging, and completely... Love that, love that, zooming in on that, that just means so much replayability, gives me that Gloomhaven-y feel, uh, and I think that's definitely what they're going for here, I'm seeing minis, I'm seeing components, I'm seeing nice looking components, little chits, this is great, this is why, you know, you don't always have to have the components, you can do it in Tabletop Simulator, as long as you do it well, which I think they're doing right here. Original resource management system to carry out your actions. Ooh. Your group will progress through a connected storyline that spans over 30 scenarios. Oh, so I've heard resource... Uh, resource management, I've heard uh, completely cooperative, I've heard 30 scenarios, which 30 scenarios, let's let's just say they're an hour a pop, that's still 30 hours of gameplay with, you, with your friends, like, yes, 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 they are checking the boxes right now, uh, I'm liking this video so far, even though I think the, the, the beginning part, it was close to being a little bit too long talking about the theme, but I feel like they got out of there just in time. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. With evolving maps, multiple unique objectives, puzzle elements... Wait, slow down. I want to look at the cards. All right. One to the Earth, place you shattered, examine further, flip. So we got different cards doing different actions. Awesome. I'm seeing the artwork. I'm seeing the theme coming through. And I'm seeing the information on the card. Great. Great, because this is going to be a heavily thematic game, I would imagine. And so this is going to help me immerse me more into the game. I like it. I like it. Like... This is going to be big, so if we're seeing hundreds and hundreds of cards, ooh, I'm excited. Multiple unique objectives, ooh. puzzle elements, and a wealth of exploration that will ultimately lead you to one of the game's many Whoa. possible endings. What the hell is this? Players will progress through their hero's personal stories while journeying through an even larger narrative. Oh and my gosh, you're only going to have your own personal story that you're doing in the big game? Ah, that sounds exciting. Navigate Agamonia. You will choose your path and upgrade your abilities along the way. Giving players strong agency oh. over their own destiny. Look at that. And I love I, I that was such a good shot. Choose to travel this unique world solo or with others and become the mightiest of unlikely heroes, or even the most despicable of villains. In this unforgettable adventure, will you help save Agamonia? Secure your copy and find mm, what in the whole oh boy, that looks cool. Find out. Please let me know if the volume on that video was any weird for you guys. It's really hard to adjust that, but we still have 13 seconds. What's left? 
Is is there something left? Is this an Easter egg? Because if it's not an Easter egg, I'm going to be disappointed in four seconds. I'm going to be disappointed, aren't I? That's an odd choice. Why would you... Why? Who? Why is there... Okay. Anywho, I still... The video, I think, did a great job of Do I Want It. Uh, it gave me Gloomhaven-y feels with some different aspects. It looks cool. Uh, I thought the artwork was well done. I need to know, I think, a little bit more. Because I'm... I need to know the price, and I need to know, can you do it? But I will say, you already let off with from the publisher of Eclipse, which makes me think feel very comfortable, because if you're in the in the know in the gaming hobby, Eclipse is a very, very popular 4X space game. Um, so that's that's a good thing, that I'm glad they spotlighted that. Uh, all right, so latautopalette.fe, publisher of Eclipse, Second Dawn for the Galaxy, Flamme Rouge, Nations. And so these are big games. Like there's, uh, So they don't have a previous Kickstarter track record to click on, but let's just go to their Facebook page. Uh, let's go to their board game geek. Like that'll make it feel super comfy. Just knowing. All right, that's the. So you're just taking me straight to the board game geek. I was already looking for the the company here, but okay, whatevs. Uh, and then yeah, so Silk Road, uh, Nations, Eclipse. So can you do it? Is yes. The, they're bringing these games. By the way, so you're like, what Terraforming Mars? That one's from this company. This company. This means that they are bringing this game to a specific part of the world. So if you ever go on like a board game geek page and it's published by like 18 different people, like how the hell does that work? That's how it works because uh, you know they have special people who can translate this and, and work with the manufacturers there, do all the different things that they need to do potentially. So that's what that is all about. So can you do it? Yes, and I like the fact they spotlighted that right from the jump. Uh, so do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Hopefully we don't beat around the bush. We get straight to the price Ooh, it moves do it again do it do it oh that's so good greetings my friends please come in come in let Re rebo be your humble guide through the world of age mania your journey begins with the small city of ambergate near the city of the Re republic of benham ambergate our heroes find themselves at the gates of the city now in the midst of a terrible flood one to four players 60 to 120 minutes ages 10 plus and so i feel like this should have been somewhere on that first image if you can fit it somewhere i know you want to spotlight the artwork it's like oh look at the big scrolling shot just pop it in there pop it in there in the corner i think that'd be really nice uh, a fully cooperative board game sent an expansive campaign for one to four players with over something. Looking for a quick overview? Look no further. Mark from Board Game Coffee takes five minutes to tell us about the game, so it's a preview. The story wasn't all up front and heavy. It was weaved into my adventure like a fine handcrafted basket filled with surprise. Loved it. Okay. I will say, uh, I don't like that particular placement of the video. I think, you know, um, a gameplay video or something would have been better like that, or a price... But I will say I do like the quote. It gets me more excited about the story, which I think is what they're heavily leaning on here. Forge your hero's own path. Well, and I need the price. That's the only thing I need. You know, I feel like a lot of people, you gave them the Gloomhaven feels. It's like, just just, just ask for their money. You know, what is this? 80? 100? 120? 140? I don't think, I don't think I'm, any of those prices are unreasonable so far. Uh, based on what Gloomhaven was, though. Maybe 140. Forge your heroes, blah, blah, blah. You will face over 40 monsters, a variety of challenges and puzzling, more on your journey through over 30 different scenarios. It's so odd that they spotlighted just these components, but that's an app. That's a that's a very old tablet of some sort, and I think that means there's going to be some app integration. I do like that. I know that's not a sell for everybody, but I like the fact they're spotlighting that early. Become immersed in a huge fantasy world with multiple books, maps, hundreds of cards and components, an amazing companion app, and more. So... You're telling me all this. Why not, instead of just telling me all this, just give me the price and then list all of these components right here. That long, sexy scrolling shot that I'm waiting for. I just want to see it. I want to be wowed. It's going to have stretch goals that are going to add extra things to it. But just hit me with that already. Uh, all right. The 10-minute video for MBM gives you a first look at the game. Age Money does so many innovative things that you can't stop, and I can't believe no one has ever thought of this before. That's, 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 very, that's a great quote. Uh, Age Mighty does so many innovative things that make you stop and go, I can't believe no one has ever thought of this before. And there are certain games that do that. And that's a great one. That's a great quote. A plus quote right there. That gets me excited. I'd like to know what those things are. Uh, but a game like Aeon's End kind of reminds me of that. If you've played Aeon's End, it's like the first time you play, like, what? What the hell's going on? All sorts of weird, crazy stuff. And I'm hoping that's what's in here. But granted, that, that means the rule booklet needs to be good because that can be fidgety, uh, if you just screw up the rules on those. How to play. I just need a price. Before beginning your adventure, surely you must seek instruction. Setting up the game for a scenario is really fast, as Age Mania's scenario maps have the necessary information already printed on them. Want to know how to play? Mark you discovered. Check out this detailed videos with chapters indexed in the description. Is this is this a legit how to play video? Oh my, an hour and 15 minutes. And now I know, I know you're saying, an hour and 15 minutes? Jesus, Barrow, that's so long for a how to play video. But here's the thing. This is 30 different scenarios you're going to be going on. This is a 30 hour plus campaign. And when you look at it like that, you're like, oh, okay. Okay. Um, 
And plus, this and if your game night's one of those ones where they meet, it, where you watch the videos beforehand, that's great. But this is excellent. I love spotlighting this. And honestly, I would I would interweave uh, Mark uh, from here to there. I would take Mark's other video, pop it down here, put that one up top. Like, how to play. You worried about having this one sit on your shelf and not getting it to the table? Well, that's not going to happen because Mark has an in-depth, comprehensive hour you know maybe you don't mention the hour long but how to play video uh do oh, oh there's a dice tutorial oh, be still my beating heart oh my god i love dice i love dice i freak out about dice if you have not used dice yet they don't have as many games as i wish they did but they are so damn good sometimes there's these tutorial apps that will teach you how to play it's an app and it's so good so that wow that gets me excited. I would honestly maybe spotlight that at the front door, but maybe I might be over banking on how popular the Dice Tutorial app is, but I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, how high should the, the Dice Tutorial thing be? Skip the rulebook and start playing immediately. Try out the preview. Wait, wait, I can click on it now? Like it's already done? What? What? Tutorial teaser? Click to start? I'm so excited. I'm, this is probably going to lag me so hard. I should probably stop doing this. Yep, it's okay. Goodbye. Abort, but that's exciting. I want to see it. Nope, nope. Computer can't handle it. Uh, what am I, what's happening? I'm leaving the site? Yeah, I'm leaving the site. Abort the mission! Okay, okay. I'm getting a new PC in the next month, though. So then I'm actually going to start streaming this to Twitch and to Facebook and all sorts of different things and uh, hopefully getting more interactive with the chat and all doing all sorts of cool stuff. Coming to Bowers Game Corner. I'm very excited. Uh, read the Wolves. Awesome. Why do I have to download it? Why, do, why can't it just be a PDF? Oh. Okay, so it is. It's not, I'm not downloading it. 46 pages. Okay, that makes that hour and 15 minute uh, rule booklet a lot more swallowable too. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Components. Alright, I don't want to spoil the components, but let's check out some of the rules. Okay, so nice looking setup, pictures, illustrations, examples. Okay, okay. And once again, this is a company with a track record, with people who probably, they're specifically, their job is to fine-tune rule booklets. Um, this is not a first-time company. Even though it is, does say first-time created right here, uh, I feel very comfortable with this. Very comfortable. Uh, the Age Money Companion app, optional, not required to play. I like the fact they're spotlighting that, because some people just are like, nope, don't want the app, don't like that. But... Uh, so I think that's great. This incredible app will supply your party with voiceovers for scenario introductions and collusions, as well as city locations. Map for the worlds of Agemony and Rundale. And here's one thing I will mention. I think that means that there's just going to be voiceovers for the beginning and the end. Maybe a stretch goal would be to have some interweave throughout. I think that's... I, I think there's... And let, let me know, because I haven't played all the app-related board games, but I'm waiting for the first really killer app for uh board games for a game like this that reads everything um even though i do think the adventure game series does a pretty dang good job but let me know uh maps for the world of age money and runedale tracking for enemy hp scenarios story points and achievements because if you've played gloomhaven that's one of the clunkiest parts of that and a lot of people just use apps now and i'd highly recommend if you play gloomhaven download some of the apps they're uh, i think they're free they work really really well i don't handle them because i can't handle anything i can barely even run my life let alone a, a game of uh, gloomhaven immersive scenario soundscapes ooh, as well as helpful resource sheets shopwares and professions click here to check it out it's already available boy howdy wow they have all their ducks in a row i'm excited woo um why is it okay so why isn't this funded yet oh so now well it is day one it is day one yogi bear whoa for the mouse for your new pc thank you so much yogi that's awesome <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, I can't wait to tell my wife. I appreciate that. Uh, gameplay. Riabo, care to appear on other heroes' journeys? Riabo will help you see what lies ahead, but be warned. Minor spoilers. Okay. So we got a playthrough. Excellent, excellent. Spotlighting this is one of the first things. So their first three videos, you know, uh, the preview one, uh, whatever, but they have, the first three videos are a playthrough, a full playthrough, a two-hour full playthrough with people we know, and not that that really matters, but still nice. And a how to play video, a comprehensive one broken down chapter to chapter to chapter. So you can even go back in the middle of the game and just click on, oh, we're having an issue with this. We go back to it. Oh, that's so good. Whoo. I love the cut of your jig, Age Monia. Uh, tutorial playthrough. Ooh, okay. Hey, awesome. Wow, 34 minutes. That's a short one. That makes me wonder, is that, I'm going to guess the solo verge is in sort? Who knows? Pledge levels, 99 euros. Uh, convert this to dollars, because once again, let's let's just make sure, but half the people who shop at Kickstarter are from the United States of America, 205 to the rest. So convert it to U.S. dollars, just make it a little bit easier for my shopping experience, and Kickstarter even does it over here. Yeah, so why can't you be cool like Kickstarter? I don't say that very often. Normally I trash on Kickstarter, because GameFound is so much better. All right, uh, everything you need to play for only $99. Core game includes six hero minis. 
I'd like to see these zoomed in, and hopefully they do go down and scroll in. Yeah, like this. Like, they zoom in a little bit more on the expansion. Why not on the actual base game? But six hero minis, six dual-layer hero boards. Yeah, I want to zoom in on my dual-layer hero board. Don't you want to see what goes into the dual-layer hero board and what's, what makes it dual-layered and the, where the cards go and how user-friendly it is? Don't you want to look at the player reference cards? I want to see a zoomed-in version of this. But that being said, 100 euros I don't think is unreasonable when you're factoring in. Then this is a 30 to 60-hour game. Just So right now, I don't have any... I'm loving this Kickstarter campaign. Do I want it? Yes. You've got me excited about the dice, about the tutorial app, about everything, about the price, uh, about the gameplay... Uh, can you do it? Yes. How much is it? You got down to it. I still need to know the shipping, which hopefully isn't all the way at the bottom, but then we have, okay. So this is just the minis pledge. All the monster minis for only 69 euros. Uh, so this is just straight up, I'm going to guess this. So this is like an add on where you can get all these things. And so they can all be on the board because normally they're going to be, what are they going to be standees? What are they going to be? Are they just going to be like chits or tokens? Once again, if you zoomed in, I would know. I'd have a better idea of what it is. Uh, but that does look cool. And once again, why not zoom in even more? I feel like this is a misstep. If you're going to have an entire pledge where you were literally like, hey, pay us $75 or $80, whatever the currency conversion is. Uh, oh, glad glad you enjoy it, Kira. Uh, then, 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 oh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, then zoom in on them. You know, let me just say, oh, I can't not have this game without these minis. Because this looks cool, but how tall is it? I want to see, I want to see his pecs. Or her pecs. Do I even have pecs? I don't know. Oh, this is why I'm not a biology major. <laughs> Component features. Riabo. Everything Riabo sells is top quality. Come see for yourself the heroes. Every hero comes ready to battle. Oh, so now we're zooming in a little bit more. And this looks exciting. Okay. Woo, lots of customization here. Custom stamina and action tokens just for Maisies. Mm. Multiple character class cards. So we got ourselves a little player reference going on in front of us. And our own special unique storybook. Oh my gosh, I wish that was open. I want to know what that's... What the, what what does that entail? A highly detailed miniature. Oh my gosh, that... That is a sexy mini. Wow. This, that one is not... I think it's this one. Yeah, so which one are you more excited about? This or that? That looks... Whoa. That looks like it's straight out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something. That is... That is a nice looking mini. Okay, okay. Uh, see how the hero board works. And once again, I'm pretty sure that's dual layer, right? So it actually slides in there. Very nice. Check out the quick video. Uh, watch the hero board video. There's a specific video. The six core heroes. And yeah, look at these minis. Okay, getting your own cards. Getting the details on the game. Awesome. Okay, so that's just focusing totally on that. Great. So if you really want to get into the weeds on the components, they got you covered. Love seeing that. The board, I'd like to know exactly how big the board is in dimensions, if it wasn't already mentioned up top. But once again, I feel like the long, sexy scrolling shot. And I would highly recommend going to look at other popular Kickstarter games. Doing research on this, this shot I'm scrolling about, because it's just a long, very sexy scrolling shot where you showcase all the different components and your focus. And every single component as you scroll down gets its own time in the sun, and you say, oh, look at these. these. Yeah, because like these aren't bad. Like, I don't have an issue with this. This looks pretty cool anyway. Like, it's thematic. I want to see if it's double-sided. But Oh, and now we're looking at these ones all close in. Look, there's the... Yep, he's got pecs. Those are pecs. Uh, so, sun drop. I'm assuming... What is sun drop? See, add-on section for detail. Okay, I don't know why you're making me go to the add-on section when you're talking about it right here. I mean, I'm right here. I'm ready. I'm ready to party. Why not, instead of having a little text here, just tell me what sun drop is. Rich storytelling. Countless adventures await over 400 story cards. Now, that... That is a number, once again, that I think could be really spotlighted in that long, that long scrolling shot. It's 400 cards. And then you're showcasing me this. And just in this, like, kind of zoomed-in stat, I'm getting excited because I'm seeing, I'm seeing story cards. I'm seeing, like, little puzzles and quests. And, like, every one of these cards that you're showing me just looks different and unique. And so every time I draw a card, I'm just excited. Like a Seventh Continent type of feel where you're like, oh, what's it going to be? And that's what I want from a game like this. And, oh, look, and now I'm going in here and there's little bit of bits of story and, oh, this is so nice. Experience a fantastical journey with a unique storybook and scenario stories. Whoa, what's that? There's a city book and a storybook? There's just like, there's so much theme raining down on this game. What is this? Okay, $10 add-on uh, with the original storybook. So this is like totally in the weeds. 10 euros. Uh, okay, I don't have an issue with that. I mean, if you really want to get into this game, I guess. It's not for me, but... If it's for you, I mean, I think 10 euros is a reasonable price for this because it looks like it's a pretty nice looking book. A hardcover, maybe? Yeah. All right, so much for your discovery. You must reform, and you should list this as hardcover. 
I think it's implied, but you know, it just it looks good. Uh, Charlie walks through the basics of the components and shows us tutorial one. Feels like an excited blend. Okay, so this is kind of like unbox with the tutorial. Okay. Uh, so core main box and the mini splash. So this is what you want people to get. Like, let's be quite honest. This is the one that you want everybody to appeal. So I would have this right next to the $69 one. Like as soon as you get done with that $99 one, you're like, okay, that looks hot. I want it. And then you're like, oh, now there's one that, you know, if I throw in the extra 50 euros, I'm going to get all these gorgeous minis. So it's really, and then you got it set up and stuff like that on the board. Plus all unlock stretch goals. And then this, so this area would get even more appealing as you hit more stretch goals because you can just start saying this unlocked and this unlocked and this unlocked. Uh, and so that, that's exciting. And also, so this isn't funded yet. So the stretch goals not being something I've seen yet is fine, but I would get to them relatively soon. But granted, this is the shopping section. It's super important. I get it. Metal coins. Those are hot metal coins. Look at all different ones. Okay. The book, the dice, a lot of carve sleeves. 1100? You need 1100 for this game? Wow. Is that right? I didn't even add up the cards, but wow. I would spotlight that if you actually need 1100 card sleeves. Jesus. Uh, sun drop for many. So what is sun drop? At, so not included. Uh, appreciated mod, so they're, oh, they're appreciated, so they look fancier. Okay. I kind of see where they put it down here. Yeah, I, I do see how they do it right there, I guess. Um, okay. All in, all in pledge. Oh, no, here's the all in. Oh, and the, so this is the big whale. So this is the, so this is the gameplay, well, this act, there is no gameplay whale. This is just the game is the game, uh, the gameplay whale, and then this, so this is what you want everybody to get. You want them to just go buck wild and get absolutely everything involved in this including the lore i'll be very interested to see how popular this pledge level is i don't think it's going to be that popular uh just because this is a first time thing but then again i think those card sleeves go a long way i don't know we'll see we'll see don't know if i would sleeve these cards it's not really a shuffle maybe the initiative cards Ooh, solid point as well i guess really how you use the cards is uh oh and so we're straight to the stretch goals like that love to see the shipping but uh stretch goals always i never complain about the stretch goals being high enough uh, they can never be too high. So, funded at $100,000. Riablo's uh, Relink Wary Riddles and Rewards opens when funded. What? Riablo loves puzzles and giving away prizes. When funded, we will open his shop and games will begin. So, this is what they're hoping to get to and hope to get to early. Uh, because this is where the, the, the fun factor is really going to start bumping in. Go check out Flamecraft. If you follow the Flamecraft campaign, they were doing some really fun stuff. And I think that's going to be the new industry standard. And that gets me excited. Because people are finally starting to get them get it tickling. Like, there's ways to tickle the Kickstarter algorithm. And having people come back frequently because of stretch goals and unlocks and cool stuff like this is how you do it. So I love that. Uh, new large scenario. Wow. A brand new large standalone scenario for heroes on their second experience level or higher. Wow, a new large map of this is hot. 20 story cards? This is that's an hour or two with your friends at thirty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Imagine how fun this Kickstarter campaign is gonna be if they can start hitting hundreds of thousands of dollars, five hundred thousand, millions of dollars, where this stretch goal section is gonna take you like three minutes just to get through. Because these are micro stretch goals for this campaign. You know, if this thing if this snowball starts rolling down the hill, like they can't hit fifty thousand dollars in a day, of course they can. This is one where you're gonna have to come back and check to see how awesome your game's getting. That does sound great. Really wonder what all the stretch goals will be well they're even showing some right here love it uh oh so oh we're getting more minis we're getting more minis and all of a sudden that 169 dollar euro lunge like oh it's looking better because now we get an extra mini no this is just in the game so is it i assume this uh oh this is in the core game pledge awesome but still so you're getting the, the cardboard standee and maybe i might put that cardboard standee just to remind people or just to say hey you're still getting for this a base game but it's just the standee form but that's awesome Ooh. Upgrade cardboard stamina chips to plastic. Ooh, that's that's a that's a hot one. That's a hot one. Everybody loves those. Oh, I, I assume. Let me know in the comments below. I just in a game like this, I always love the plastic of those little tokens, so I can just fidget with them with my fingers. It's still one of my favorite aspects of Splendor is just doing the poker trip, the poker chip tricks. And then we're straight to shipping. Okay, okay. Still at the bottom, but I, I do like the fact that it's kind of close to the the shopping area. Uh, USA. So 25 euros. So once again, convert it to dollars for me. That's so that's so annoying. Uh, so six backers just want that. Okay, I, I didn't think that'd be very high. So then 178 want this. 97 want the minis plus the game. Then how much people? 149. Oh, 149 people taking the big plunge. Wow. Okay, I stand corrected. And I would say that these are aside from this one. 
uh, these are good pledge levels. And you can always tell how good a pledge level is by the amount of people that take it. You know, so 97, 149, 178. That means you were able to successfully predict the niche of people that were going to want to buy this game and what they're going to want to buy. So hats off, aside from this one. Uh, but hey, <laughs> whatever's three out of four ain't bad. Uh, yeah, that grades would prefer plastic for the stamina chips. Yeah, Pla- like plastic's hot. All right, so the all-in pledge, 42. So now we're looking, whoo, that's like a 260, 70. All right, but I'm not looking at that landfill. That's like that's like an exclusive whale. Like you want to get so deeply engrossed in this game, whatevs. I'm looking just the core pledge, and it's 130 euros. All right, so it's probably about 150 bucks grand total out the door. Oh wait, no, this isn't even. This is Europe. I'm a noob. Okay, so what's the, so what's? Oh, I'm just so you. Know, there's. Oh wait, no, it isn't. I'm I'm not a noob. It's 25. Okay, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. 130, 130 euros, 150 dollars. Okay. That's around a Gloomhaven price. It's from a company who's done large games like this before. I, I don't have that much of an issue with the price. It's really high, at least for mine, because that's two and a half brand new MSRP games. I mean, more if you get them on CMON or Cool Not Cool or not. Uh, the, the, the thing. But, oh, so where's VAT? <clears throat> Do we mention VAT? That's one thing. For the U.S., EU, U.K., and USA, will we charge? And I guess that's the other thing. Do, I, do we have a firm grasp of the box? Like, I see this box... But how big actually is that box? Uh, is that scythe? No, I don't think that's a scythe style box. I mean, how thick is this box? I think just putting it next to something else would have been a good call. Because, you know, if I if I have if I have the idea in my mind that this is a Gloomhaven style box, I'm like, okay, thirty dollars for shipping. I get it. It's massive. It's huge. You want the you don't want the thing to get dented. Because here's the thing: they have to protect this thing. If it gets dented in shipping, the amount of money they're going to lose because they have to then ship it back to them and then ship you something else. It's just it sucks. Um, so I don't have an issue with the shipping. The more I think about it, but I still would like to know a little bit better the size of the box. All right. Uh, oh, VAT. Shipping has gotten a little unpredictable. So to avoid overcomplicating things, we will send out the pledge manager to let you confirm your pledge and select any add-ons. And once we are closer to shipping the product, we will resend the pledge manager so you may finalize the yada yada. We don't expect shipping to be higher than our estimates. And we will commit to ca- uh, capping shipping at the price listed on the p- page above. Awesome. Okay, so it might potentially be even cheaper. If you would like to know much about the VAT tax, we'll be charged to the pledge manager. Please see our calculator here. Okay. Uh, this isn't a calculator. This is just a. This is a. This is a power. This is a spreadsheet. I feel bamboozled. Uh, so Luxembourg, Malta. I, okay, you see this. I mean, if you get jacked by the vat, you're probably gonna be turned off by this game, and, th- and that's unfortunately it sucks. All right, so we got and we got and I can see there's a lot of polish here. We got a lot of people behind the scenes. Awesome. This once again makes me feel even more comfortable with the can you do it? Wow, really, people. Hey, Paul, what's up? Oh, that makes me feel. Now that, that I think is a little bit of a misstep right there. I would spotlight Paul right there. And I know maybe that's just, you know, be like, oh, he's just another media dude and you want him to do well. Yeah, well, I do. I mean, first and foremost, if you're in the media, I want everybody to succeed because the more people succeed in the media, the bigger the hobby gets, the bigger Powers Game Corner gets. I mean, you want everybody to succeed. Uh, But Paul is known for his how to play videos. Like, you know, he's, I honestly, he's, I, he's, he's well known for it. Uh, so I would mention that he's in the rules editor when you said download the rule booklet, uh, our rules editor, Paul Grogan, you know, that means something to a lot of people. And I think a lot of the people who would back this project. So I would spotlight that, uh, cause that's awesome. That, that, that makes me feel more comfortable with the rule booklet right there by a mile. Join us on discord, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. Why Kickstarter? We get it. <clears throat> All right. Let's check this out. I want to see how many new people this bag. So three new people. Three new people to the hobby. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be high. I was just curious. Because this is, I mean, this is for if you've been deeper in the hobby. So let's check out the FAQ, the updates, comments. Get out of here. Ooh, I do like how they're doing this. They got it organized. There's only three things in the FAQ, but I think this is the way. You want the industry standard? This should be the industry standard. Make it so simple. I got a VAT question. Okay. I got a language question. I got a stretch goal question. I got a minis question. You know, I got a question about what the hell the thing is that you're doing crazy with the packs on the minis, you know? So I like how they're doing that. All right, comments. By chance, do the heroes also come with standees? I don't know if it's due to the renders, but the minis look quite bad. You can see some painted minis here. Oh, okay. Well, let's check it out. And once again, I, I thought they looked pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a sheep. Ooh, those look... Oh, it looks so cool. Why isn't this picture on there? Uh, why, why isn't this somewhere on the Kickstarter? 
you know, I know you're not offering paid minis, and maybe that's why you don't want to confuse people. But just seeing these, because these aren't rendered, like, these are real things, right? Uh, look cool with purpose. Still, you got to admire the paint job on these. They look absolutely incredible. Yeah, if these are actually what the minis are going to potentially look like if I chose to paint them, I'm in. Woo, that looks hot. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to paint them, so that's irrelevant to me. Okay, fair point. And that's why you want to zoom in on your components on that long, sexy, scrolly show that I talked about. I really don't like the narrator in the app. It just doesn't really sound like fantasy. Please tell me it's a placeholder. Is there a chance for German version? So there in lies one of the problems with being so forthcoming. Like, I was absolutely floored by a lot of the stuff they said. The tutorial app, the gameplay video, everything was lined up. And I remember they actually had a live stream from the Dice Tower, like today. Because that was originally, their image was like, it was surrounded by like Dice Tower people. And I was like, I don't know if that's the best choice to go with. Uh, and they actually changed it to this one. But, but uh, they have a lot of ducks in the row. And, but when you do that people can really start to nitpick before you even get out the gates. But I don't feel like that's most people. I think that's kind of just like a, a vocal minority. And when I say nitpick, I mean, it. they're going to spend $150, $200 on this game. So totally, totally understand why. At the moment, we're focused on getting the game out in English, but we never rule out <clears throat> local slash translated editions. Interesting. And if they, and that could be something, a carrot they dangle potentially. That could be a special stretch goal that you, that he put out there. I've seen people do that, where if we can get X number of German backers, then we will have this. So back it for a dollar, spread it, and if we can hit this number, you know, and I didn't, yeah, little things like that, because that also, you know, Kickstarter doesn't care, you know, that people are only back it for a dollar and they're going to back out if you don't hit 200 German backers. Kickstarter just cares because you got 50 people from Germany clicking on this project and clicking on it and, and checking back in on it, which is once again going to tickle that YouTube or Kickstarter algorithm. We enjoy... We really enjoy storybook games that are playing Aftermath and had to get this after seeing it. Played on Board Game Co. and Quackalope. Can't wait to play it on our channel. So one other thing that I'm kind of surprised about is they're not mentioning a few more of the other games that they've created that are in their library. Because going back to that Board Game Geek page, there was there were some heavy hitters in here. I think you could really just like throw out a couple of these and people would be like, whoa, you know. But the actual pictures of them I think would help. Weird question, but is there any chance the Eclipse playmat could be added on the Pledge Manager? Otherwise, I'll try to get it when the second Kickstarter happens, assuming. Great question, I need one as well. And so that tells me that they have some brand loyalty here. These are people from uh, that project who are here, and that's what you love to see. Unfortunately, we're not able to mix Eclipse products into this, and we wonder if you would really want to wait for your playmat that long. Uh, <laughs> okay. Dot, dot, dot. Um, okay. I don't mind the wait, particularly if it came with a discount at the moment. It would cost me 85 Australian dollars for shipping. Dang! Uh, <clears throat> okay. But what I'm seeing here is good customer service and not just from, and I see one, two, three people on the customer service, which means we should have some spectacular customer service. They're going to be what, what's called churning the comments, hopefully churning the updates, and hopefully they have the first update dialed up and ready to go because they're going to hit 100. Hopefully they'll hit their goal today. But one thing I always recommend in the updates, every single time, because you can make the most, the best update in the whole entire world. You can spend hours and hours and hours fine toothing, perfecting, and crafting the update. And you can get way more engagement by just asking a question. Now, I still think you should make spectacular updates that are worth people's time. But always ask a question in the updates. And I say, hey, we've got some stretch goals revealed. What are some stretch goals that uh, you would love to see in this game in the future as things that we might be able to look into adding or for potential expansion content way down the future? Yada, yada, yada. Just things like that. Um, ask people a question because the people in the, they're in this. 548 people were like, all right, $200, $150, I'm in. I think if you ask a question, they will respond. But final grade on this one. Do I want it? Yes. Video had me. Can you do it? Yes. Track record had me. Uh, maybe spotlight a little bit better. But still, yes, they did mention right from the jump. But no, I guess right here. Publisher of Eclipse, Flamme Rouge, Nations. I wouldn't go etc. Maybe find another game. But um, either way, can you do it? Yes. How much is it? It's high, but with this style game, it's what we're used to. So in the end of the day, I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. I think this is a really rock-solid Kickstarter page here. Um, they covered a lot of stuff that I want to see. And I think they did a really good job. And I'm really excited to see what their next Kickstarter looks like. What they learn. Like, say, I have a feeling that with how many people they have behind the scenes and the team that they, they have here that's already doing this, you know, five Kickstarter projects in. Like, would you be shocked if this was, like, one of those million-dollar ones or anything like that? No. So I'm really excited for this. Really rock-solid first-time company. First time. But uh, Kickstarter company here. Age Monium. It looks like my company. Be sure to check out that Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Byron's Game Course. Such a... That also helps me, but it also helps tickle their Kickstarter algorithm. And in the comments below, let me know what your grade was for this project. Help tickle my YouTube algorithms. 
And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Oh, and thank you so much, Yogi, for the mouse. That's amazing. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Much appreciated.